Okay. Welcome to Women Who Rock With Success, which is an award-winning show for professional women. We profile a collective of amazing women who are thriving to build their brand. Women are handpicked in various fields who can provide credible information to build your business and lifestyle. We are live each Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Time, followed by our latest brand, Women Who Rock Investigates. To learn more about us, go to our website at www.womenwhorockwithsuccess.com. Now, let's join our podcast host in the studio, Mrs. Diane Winbush. And good morning, everyone. Once again, thank you for tuning in with us on our third show for today. And this is your host, Ms. Diane Winbush. And so to, on this segment, uh, we will be talking about fashion and design. And I think that's what's going on for the rest of the month and the rest of next month as well, because we have been getting a lot of uh, of uh, individuals that want to come on to the show about fashion and design, clothing, makeup, and all of that. So to, here to be able to help us to go a little bit deep into this and to learn a little bit more about uh, fashion, we're going to be talking to Ms. Vandy, who is the CEO of Fashion Over. So good morning, Vandy, and welcome to our show. Hi, Ms. Diane. How are you? I am doing wonderful. I am doing wonderful. We're really excited so we can be able to see what we can be able to do to follow your brand and perhaps maybe purchase some of your items and things, too. I just love your collection of how you have everything articulated. So, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about you. How did you get started with this, and what compelled you to have a desire to be able to um, help women or perhaps even men in the areas of fashion and designing? Well, actually, let me say this. It, that okay. was not my plan at all. <laughs> um, getting into clothes was more or less like I was trying different things. I tried to do um, going to competition with uh, uh, mm-hmm. Uber and Lyft, and then I tried to do some uh, janitorial like company and house cleaning, and it just wasn't going about. So then my spouse asked me, "Well, what is important to you? What do you like? You like to dress. Mm-hmm. You, you you're." very concerned of the material of your clothes, if they fit right, if if your seams are made right. So then I started thinking, hmm, do I really want to do that? Well, let me start with the kids. <laughs> so I, I thought okay. I would start with kids' clothes. So I opened an e-commerce online, and it's Elegant Fashion Over is my company. So it's Elegant okay. First and then Fashion Over. Okay. It's all yes, one ma'am. word with the Fashion Over. But okay. So I started with the kids' clothes, and I said, well, what do you want to do with that, you know? So I'm I'm confused Mm -hmm. at this point. But then I started thinking, what do you like for your kids and your grandkids? And how do you want their clothes to look? So that's where I came up with the elegant, like, as a brand. And then the fashion over as a brand. And then I have also the crybaby, which is for both female and male. And I broke it down to where the elegant is for the female part and the fashion over is for the male part. So I just basically started like that and I'm just trying to go from there. Okay, great. That is so awesome because you you know when it – when when it comes to women, sometimes it can be a challenge to be able to get started and perhaps, you know, get the financing and everything like that together um, as entrepreneurs. So what were, were some of the, some of the, were there any setbacks along the way? Because even with our audience, of course, we have, you know, different uh, types of audiences here. So with our audience, we try to be able to help them to be able to understand that um, entrepreneurs that have made it to the top, six figures, seven figure digit uh, income, they have had some issues that they have to, you know, uh, go through as well, such as right. certain challenges. So sh- share with us a little bit about that, if there were any challenges that you may had to face along the way. Well, actually, there were, like, starting with getting my website up and running, and I still have some things that I have to tweak and get going to to my perfection, but getting Mm -hmm. your website when you're doing an e-commerce sale, that's one of the hardest, difficultest parts of trying to sell online. Then okay. finding the right vendor, you know what I mean, that can mm-hmm. help get your your clothes made correctly and make sure your your print or your uh, logo is correct on there. It, it it was really frustrating at first trying to make sure that I was getting it to the eye that I visioned it and not the eye they're right. visioning. 
So mm-hmm. when it comes to venting and, and the website, those were my two toughest struggles, I would say. Okay, okay, wow, yeah. And and a lot of times there are some things that, uh, you know, kind of help us along the way and what we can be able to learn uh, from that. And even though we do experience, you know, kind of help us to continue to pursue and don't give up. And and some of the um, the clothes that you market, they are so uh, colorful and what have you. So were there any mentors to be able to help you with this, with this drive that you have and passion that you have in order to make women look beautiful in their clothes? Honestly, I just thank God for my spouse. That's who keeps me going with my drive, with my ideals, mm-hmm. my visions. I mean, without him, I probably wouldn't even made it this far. Okay, 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 great, so, okay. Okay. Yes. So talk talk about a little bit some of the services, um, Vendy, that you're that – you're, um, company offers and what have you. I know, you know, there's some, uh, uh, some also some additional um, things that you offer, such as cleaning and different little errands like that. And so share with the, uh, the listeners a little bit about that too, because we want to make sure that they get all of the information that they, uh, you know, need about you with the products and services that you offer. Okay, so as I was speaking before, when I said I tried to do the, like, the going competition with Uber Eats and, and Lyft and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff, and that company is originally was called Aaron's Limited Liability. And so what okay. I did was kind of just combined it all together. I didn't want to let it go, so I kept it there. So I still offer full house service, full um, janitorial service, so it's commercial and residential. And then I have okay. the errands part where when I say I help with errands, there's times that people, there's, you still have the old-fashioned people that don't believe in the credit cards <laughs> and doing all that. So mm-hmm. that's where we come into place to help you out. So we can go pay your bills for you. We can run your errands for you where you just cannot get away. So we just offer it more or less in that type of view instead of a list view where I'll take you wherever you want to go. Okay. Okay, great. So how has this been rewarding for you? How has this, you know, been rewarding for Vandy? You know, a lot of times, sometimes people, you know, create a brand, they create products, they do, they are entrepreneurs, but they, it's not uh, self-fulfilling for them. But it appears that, you know, you you have extensions of what you're doing, not just um, in regards to the e-commerce, but you're doing other different things that add value to your products and services. So how has that been fulfilling for you as an uh, entrepreneur and well, CEO? Okay, well, as far as the clothes part, it's been a blessing. I I first got me a store inside of, it's called the Bonanza Swap Meet. So I got me a little okay. store in there where I could get myself out there and people going. And then I was able to move up out of the Swap Meet into the Boulevard Mall. So now I have mm-hmm. me a store inside the Boulevard Mall as well as the e-commerce and the other things that I offer on the website. Okay, great. So, so that was going to be the amazing next. for Vandy. Oh, okay, and that was going to be the next question that I was going to ask in regards to the uh, fundamentals between the e-commerce and as well as the brick and mortar uh, building, and what are some of the pros and cons that um, uh, an entrepreneur can be able to take from that? So, you know, a lot of times, um, I, th- I think it was something that I had perhaps maybe six, seven, or eight years ago, and so the main question that they had. Uh, to the speaker that was there at the event was about the e-commerce. You know, people sometimes go through a different little um, little pitfalls through that as well as, you know, if it's a brick-and-mortar building. So kind of give us a little taste on both sides of it, of how that is rewarding as an entrepreneur to be able to have both of them. Well, to be able to be have both of them, let me just say it's still a struggle for the e-commerce. It, it really is. Okay. But it mm-hmm. is slowly but surely coming through. All I can say when it comes to the e-commerce is don't give up. You know what I mean? You have to, if you have that Mm -hmm. ideal and that's your passion, you have to fight for that. You have to push forward in that in order for it to keep going. So with the online e-commerce, I cater to the men, I cater to the women, the kids, I have some jewelry on there, you know, sandals, baby stuff. It's an all-around thing. And with the store, it's just more catered to the kids, more than not. Okay, so, okay, okay. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm okay. just, I have my ups, I have my downs, and I just, I don't give up. 
Okay, okay, that's great. That is so great. So um, the next question uh, would be is what are some of uh, your short-term goals that you would like to see for uh, um, eloquent, elegant uh, fashion over? What are some of the, the, the uh, short-term goals without – revealing all of your nuggets to your business. We try to tell the entrepreneurs <laughs> that. You don't tell all your business, you know, because they'll get up and go and, and create something off of what you can tell them. Absolutely. <laughs> so, but but, yes, but to be able to, um, be able to help them in a way that, you know, you, know, you can be able to um, uh, word it in a way where it can be able to help them, uh, you know, for those that are uh, trying to uh, um, order from offline because most of the uh, the, the individuals that we have and say they already have their own product lab but this will be able to help them to be able to how to order uh, online and also be able to uh, help them for some pros and cons versus e-commerce versus uh, you know the brick and mortar you said versus what i'm sorry i didn't hear that in part the brick and mortar the brick and mortar is what you have at the mall and what have you yes ma'am right 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 yes 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 okay so um um, let's see what I can say. Um, I Oops. would say that the difference between the e- – well, let me start here. Short-term goals for me when it comes to this would mm-hmm. be getting my e-commerce to get more revenue. So I'm trying to get that. Okay. That's in my short-term goal. Um, okay. Being that I'm just getting into the mall part with my store, my short-term goal for that would be just getting my my brand out there. Like, I really, really, really want people to see, know, and recognize my brand. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And for all of us entrepreneurs, we're we're sometimey, I would say. Like, sometimes we think this is going to work, sometimes we think that's going to work, or sometimes we'll try this, or sometimes we'll try that. It, we can't be sometimes. We have to be all the time. <laughs> we have to push forward on what we mm-hmm. want and what we like. And if we let go or don't keep be persistent with it, we're not going to be able to get what we really want out of it. So we have right. to stay long time and not short timey or some timey. You know what I mean? Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. And so I guess that was going to be the next question for the long term goals. Where, where would you where would you <laughs> like to see? Where would you like to see um, elegant fashion over? Where would you like to see it? Okay. So now you moved from one step and that was e-commerce. That's online. And so that's virtual, yes, ma'am. which a lot of people are shopping online today, especially with uh, Posh. I think if I'm, I'm pronouncing that right, the, with the posh store and what have you, people are doing a lot of things online. And so now you have an right. opportunity where doors have opened where you are in a brick-and-mortar facility. So what are some of the long-term strategies that you would like to be able to see? So take, for instance, I'm going sh- to explain an example to you. So some of the um, guests that we have, what they have done in fashion and design and, and beauty and makeup and what have you, they have taken it, they have taken it to another level and monetized it where they are training other entrepreneurs in the same area of that where they are working. So there's always something that, you know, we can be able to work on to be able to improve our brand. So that's the reason why I asked the question, what are some of the long-term goals that you would like to see in regards to elegant fashion over? Well, for one, I, I want my brand to be up there with Fendi and Louie and, you know, Gucci. I I, I want to, get to the point where I'm recognized like them. Um, okay. Some of my – that that was a question I really wasn't prepared for. <laughs> Not okay, that's okay. Ago. That's okay. But, that's okay. But honestly, it's something that – because, see, I'm so busy trying to tackle my short-term goals because I don't want to let it slip mm-hmm. away. I, I really right. want to focus on the right now because – it's okay. easy for me to get distracted trying to mix the two. So mm-hmm. while True. I'm focusing on my brand actually trying to get out there, my focus is trying to get the world to know it. So okay. without saying so much or too much, I guess right. <laughs> I, I'm working with sticking on my, my short-term goals instead of my long-term goals. 
Okay, 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 okay. That's 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 a fair answer. That's fair enough. So, what is it that you would like <laughs> to leave with the listeners? What was what what is it that you would like to share with them? Any additional information that you would like to share with the listeners, so they can be able to learn uh, more about you? Uh, you know where you're located. If they can be able to follow you on social media uh, platforms, yeah, if they can absolutely. be able to. Uh, 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 you know, pick up your line and stuff, even in the mall or the brick and mortar. You can be able to share that with them right now. You can be able to share them uh, how they, they can be able to connect with you and follow you so they can be able to be more aware of what you are. And, of course, this the interview is going to be on Spotify, Spotify and all of the other product, uh, the other platforms as well. And so more people can be able to get, uh, you know, a little bit more better of what you do in fashion and design. So you can be able to share that with the audience right now of any links, websites, and also where they can be able to find your clothing uh, line. Okay, well, my clothing line is elegantfashionover.com, and that's mm-hmm. where you can order off of their, you know, clothes, jewelry, wigs. We have it all there. Um, also, I am on Facebook. You can get me at Elegant Fashion Over, and then I'm Instagram, also Elegant Fashion Over. Uh, also, I am located at the Boulevard Mall on South Maryland Boulevard, and it's inside mm-hmm. the Mercado, and so it's like a inside of a mall, shopping mall kind of a thing. And so, mm-hmm. yes, you can reach me at any of those places. You can follow me online, stay tuned to new things, new brands, new ideals that I'm coming out with and sharing, and that's pretty much how you keep up with me. Okay, that is great. You have been such a wonderful guest with us today, uh, Miss Vandy, and we thank you so much for taking the opportunity to be with us in the studio sharing your brand and your products and services as to what you would like for America to be able to visualize about the things that you do, you know, your cleaning services. You also offer clothes for men and for women, which that's kind of, you know, kind of unique. Sometimes women just offer, you know, one product line just for just to see right. themselves, but you offer it to both of them. So that is such a wonderful thing, and we thank you so much for being our guest. And hopefully we can yes. be able to follow up with you in the summer to see what type of, uh, you oh, know, see where you are. And, and for you can be able to come back on the show and be able to share more with us, okay? Yes, and I thank you so much, Miss Diane, for having me. Okay, and thank you so much for being patient with us. And so, everyone, don't forget about Thursday. We'll be right back on the show. And so thank everyone for listening, and you have a great day, Ms. Vandy. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Okay.